Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to the stream. Gonna be running some PGA Tour 2023 by EA Sports. Um, enjoying getting back into the golf. Working my way through career mode at the moment. Um, so yeah, let's uh, jump in and enjoy some golf. Juan Pablo Zarat. What's up, my brother? Hey, 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 Juan. How are you doing, man? Good to see you. How's things? Hope you're doing well, man. Just uh, make sure I've uh, shared the stream two seconds. Juan Pablo Zarat just finished smoking. Just finished smoking. You're always smoking, man. Making sure I've shared everything and then we'll uh, crack on and do some uh, golf. Not very good at this game yet, but we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Let's get chat up. Some reason I can't get my chap on. Go. Right, let's go. Let's play some golf. Put the controller on that helps. Gonna continue with the uh, career mode. I didn't do very well in the first round, but I'm still learning this the new swing mechanics and everything for this game. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From the home of three major championships, Riviera Country Club, it's live opening round coverage of the California Classic. What might we have in store for us over the course of these next four days? We've got big names, How you been, Juan? we've got dark horses, we've Spoke got it all as we look at the leaderboard on this Thursday. We've got a tie at the top, at three under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer looking to get off to a hot start and maybe make an early move up the AM leaderboard. Where uh, are we? Oh, I thought I'd done that. Oh, maybe I forgot to save. Oh, that's a bit of a shit, huh? Never mind. Right, what do we reckon? We're gonna get over there, are we? Oh, I might do. Let's go for it. Oh, 
Jones from the gum four. And that's going to end up in the bunker. Not a great place to be on an opening par five. No, ideally, you're hoping for a little bit of run down that fairway to give you a chance to uh, reach this green in two. But now, obviously, all he can do is just simply advance it down the fairway. One half years old. That is so well done on E2 on this opening hole, Frank, and a good chance here for, at a minimum, a birdie to start the round. Uh, not often you start on a par five, and not often you reach the green in two or have an eagle putt. Mm, the speed was right what you want, but the eagle putt doesn't go down. Okay, a well-played hole there. It is birdie to kick off the round. And he will very quickly move to one under par. Next up, the number one handicap hold at Riviera, the 471-yard par four second, playing into I'm the sure prevailing ocean breeze, night, making it play that much longer. Par is a very I'm good sure score I here. Ended up on a different golf course last night. Juan Pablo Zarat. Let's go. See how we get on. And this round starting off strong after the birdie at the first. This in the fairway at number two. Noticeable breeze coming right to left as he eyes his That's second. Amount of wind. Well, had a good look at the green. I find this game a lot in, harder in the than the last one I played. Wondering what might have been. A lot harder. It might be just because I'm learning where all the controls are and everything, but definitely a little bit more difficult, I think. Twelve feet still to go. Mm, got it there, but not, not quite on target. Not used to any of it, to be fair, but still okay. Good fun. It's a bogey here at the second, and he's going to fall out of red figures back down. Too even par. Not a long hole here. The third at Riviera, just 434 yards. This is about position, and really the best way to get at the whole location is to sail so it over that you, fairway Ron, bunker on the left. That'll give you a really good angle. Juan Pablo Zarat. GG's. This one working up the right side. And that will miss to the right, but fortunately, it's pretty wide open over there. Working from the rough, here's his second at three. Rich, there's one thing about good iron play. When you hit it and it comes off the club face, you know it's going to be close. More evidence there. Yeah, no sweat. It is a birdie here at the third. Arriving now at the 236-yard par-3 fourth, what Ben Crenshaw once called the greatest par-3 hole in America. High praise from the 19-time PGA Tour winner.
uh, rolled loads. Boy, that one did not want to slow down at all, and it winds up running right through the green. That's in. It is a good par here at number four. I do. And he'll remain Could have been bad. one under par. Up next, Riviera's 434-yard par four fifth. A lot to worry about here. Canyon wall, end OB on the right, trees down the left, and of course, the iconic grass mound, which cuts into the fairway short of the green. smack this as hard as we can so I know I can get over there. Oh boy, that has started way left. Oh, I hit the tree. Would have made it otherwise. Caught obviously off the tree and into the rough. 99 yards away. It's on. One have those other. Just whack it. Just whack it. Sounds like a plan, to be fair. This game doesn't seem to like the uh, just whack it approach. Yeah, that's a good punt. It is a par here at the fifth. Par will do, par will do. That figures at one under. You won't come across too many like this. Riviera's fame, par 3-6 at 199 yards. Hard to focus on anything other than that distinctive bunker cut right into the middle of the green. Finding the proper level is imperative here because getting it wrong can create all kinds of unique problems. How's your console doing, man? I haven't seen you streaming yet. Well, that's a sensible shot right there. No need to take on an unnecessary risk. There's nothing wrong with walking away from here with a three. Just gonna sneak on by. I think I'm gonna take that putting line off because seem to be trying to match that and bucking it up every time. Safely in for par here at the sixth, and he'll remain right where he is. Moving on to the seventh, 408-yard par four with a massive bunker running down the left side and a barranca down the right. Fairway narrows considerably at the 270 yard mark, so accuracy off the tee, critical. And that will do just fine. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. It's 125 yards left to the hole. And that wind is yeah, here from left to right, console, so you man. need to factor that in as you start gaming. this ball. And that ball looked good in the air. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still inside 40 feet. Just going to have to be careful with the lag putting. 
It's a long old part, One 47 feet. No, not streaming yet. Oh. Yep, not bad. Had to put a little extra into that one, but got it there. That's a pretty good effort. That one finished off. Streaming, It'll yeah. be a part here at seven. And he'll How stay is your console? Right where he is. We're good. Happy with it. The surprises don't stop here on Riviera's front side as we come to the 433 yard par 48. One of course designer George C. Thomas's all time favorites. A split fairway is the unique feature here. Like many holes, this one forces you to really have a strategy. Juan Pablo Zarat. Yesterday I was playing for three hours Mike Tyson punch out. <laughs> nice. How was it, man? Oh, must have hit that one good. Ah, uh, that is poetry in motion right there. What a golf swing and a big drive as well. From the left side of this fairway, he'll look over his second. Juan Pablo Zarat. I just made two macho man. Nice. Are you really going to take that seriously? That ball wasn't even going to land on the green, but it's finished up fine. Here we go. This one for birdie. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one online all the way. It's in for a birdie. We finish up the front side at Riviera with a 458 yard par four ninth, one of the finest par fours in the game. A long straight drive. If you can manage it, we'll take the two fairway bunkers out of play. That one going to split the middle, maybe get a little rollout as well. That is a good, solid tee shot. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. And he is right on the number, 140 yards to the front, 149 to the hole. The pin is in the front right part of the green. Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough. Dickhead. That's Got to be disappointing. Good lie in the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. Mm, that is a good looking pass out of the bunker right there. Got that to stop in a good place, leaving just a few feet for par. Okay, that's in for his par here at the ninth. And that finishes off a strong front nine. It's a 33, two under par. Up next, the 315 yard par four tenth. This may be the most beloved hole at Riviera, short par four that offers so many options. Certainly drivable, but only a perfect drive will hold this green. And the miss right will usually result in a bogey or worse. Oh, he's overcooked it. That is well left. Whoa. I went a lot further than I thought it was going to. It might be in the rock, but that was absolutely crushed. So a poor tee shot at 10. Now his second. Stop, stop, stop. 11 feet away. Oh, 
No. Oh. Safely in. It's a par here at the 10th. And he'll stay at two under. One at low zone. So close. Arriving now at the second par five. So of course, the 583-yard 11. Not close enough, though. Eucalyptus trees lining both sides of the fairway. And a grass for rank about 200 yards from the green has to Thanks, be navigated man. on your second shot. It's good to have you back. Been a while. I had a lot going on, though, to be fair. I haven't been streaming a lot last week. I'll tell you what, that swing absolutely perfect and a good result as well. Fuck. Oh, this par five green is well protected. That's two good shots, but that bunker's there for a reason. Now, with some nifty sand play, we're looking at four. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for birdie. Okay, that nice. ball online all the way. It's a birdie here at 11. Oh, birdie as well. Surprised by that. Up next, a toughie, the 479-yard par 412. It is a gentle left to right, so fading the ball is encouraged. Up near the green, beware of that lone sycamore tree known as the Humphrey Bogart tree, so named because he loved watching golf and relaxing under its shade. Ah, too really strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. From the rough, we check in with Noda. 152 to the hole. Ball sitting up very nicely in the rough. How did that go so far? Well, as an old baseball announcer once Still said, going, going, swinging. gone. Goodbye. One at low zone. Just when you're racing, I really don't want to make you crash when you're racing. That why don't come in chat. Ah, you should do, man. I don't mind crashing. I'd rather chat than crash. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. And he'll stay at minus three. Well, here's the genius of the design at Riviera. Number 12. I'll be golfing this weekend a little in bit the of morning. Okay. So 13. Catch some of that. telling you to hit a draw. That's a good golf course when you have to work the ball both ways. This is a really tough driving hole. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. Second shot, good look at the green. That's more like I it. know it's the second shot golf course, but what an iron shot. I don't care. That's the first, the last. That's a great shot.
Mmm, confidently done there. That's in for birdie here at 13. Tweet, tweet. Onward now to the 14th of par three at 192 yards. Flanked by bunkers, this green is wider than it is deep, making it important to get one up in the air and stop it quickly. Yeah, he was begging for it to Long go. Didn't down. quite have enough to reach the back of the green, but it'll be a birdie putt regardless. Close. Close. Couldn't ask for much more on that putt. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And this will remain a one-shot advantage. The 15th hole here at Riviera at 487 yards of par four. It is the number two handicap hole, so... ...of the dog leg must be avoided, and the green is... Ball's back in the fairway. I guess it's better to be lucky than good. From the fairway, Noda, this is second. It's looking at 148 yards to the front, 154 to the hole. Pin is on the front left part of the green. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. He'll have 17 feet on this putt. Oh. Mm, boy, that's a good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And this oh, will okay. stay oh, okay. a one-shot lead. On now to the 16th at 166 yards. It's the smallest green on the course, but the difficulties don't end there. It's also surrounded by three deep and large bunkers. Plus, that tree left of the tee box can get you if you're not careful. Okay, that one's dancing. Oh, See if you can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Ah, that a pure roll there. That nice. is down for a birdie here at 16. And he's gonna claim the top spot on the leaderboard here with two holes to go here in round one. We make our final turn back up toward the clubhouse as we come to the 590-yard par 5 17th. Getting on here in two is no sure thing, especially given all the bunkers that pop up along the way. Some big drives today. That might be the biggest of the bunch. Well, if you've got a 300-yard shot in the bag, this is where you want to use it. This, likely a layup, though.
Fuck sake. Oh, and that is going to be into that deep bunker short of the green. Third shot coming up now from the bunker. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for birdie. Now this for another birdie. Yes, and good playing here toward the end of the round. Birdie's at 16 and 17, and he's going to open up a two-shot lead here with one hole remaining in his opening round. Such a unique Closing hole, the 18th here at Riviera at 475 yards. You're asked to hit your tee shot onto a 30-foot rise that features hillside to the left and gully to the right. From there, it is a tough approach into the amphitheater green. <laughs> this up the right side off the tee. Down there. Oh, fuck's sake. No fairway here. This one in that rough. Second shot now at the home hole. Ball is in the rough, but has a chance to get this within birdie range with a good shot. where the wayward previous shot will cost you. Failed to reach the green from the rough, and now it's time to scramble. Not going to be easy. The strike was fine on the pitch shot. Ball first, then turf. Just wasn't really hit hard enough. No, nope. good effort, but that's going to wander a few feet by. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And he'll fall back to five under. So this a successful day's work. Frank tied for the lead after day one. We look at that lead. Not too bad. Let's see if I upgrade myself a little bit. Again, see if we can stay top. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to feature some of the best young talent in the world of golf. From Pacific Palisades, California, and historic Riviera Country Club, live second round coverage of the California Classic. Well, if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. We've currently Still got a tie to at the top at five under par. Included among them is the golfer we'll be watching as this should prove to be a compelling round of golf. This is a 150 yard shot, the second. Wow, what a nice way to start the day, Frank. 
straight out of the gate and the barn door is officially open. Oh. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. No problems there, that one in for a birdie. And with it, he'll take over the top spot on the leaderboard here on this Friday. So while you're looking to make birdie at number one, you'd be happy with a par four at this second hole. It's 471 yards, but the winds are a factor as a strong par four. This starting toward the right side. That one gonna be in great shape. So following the birdie at one, a solid drive here at the second. Gotta think this an extra half club or more as he sets for a second into the wind. Shit. And that's not exactly ideal. Far from a tap-in for his par. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. Mm, that's going to leak out to the right and trickle away. Not the right read there. Okay, that's going to be finished off for his bogey. He'll drop out of the lead and wind up a shot back. Moving now to the 434 yard, part 4 third at Riviera. Best way to attack here is to carry that fairway bunker on the left to set up a good angle on your approach. Oh, that was a beautiful golf swing right there. Everything working in harmony and a great result in the fairway. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. Just a flick left. 123 is the number. Pin in the back right portion of the screen. And a good approach shot, just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still solid. A long one coming up here for birdie. Oh. Mm, hang on. That's going to leave so about close. three feet. So that safely in, it's a par here at the third. And he'll stay a couple of shots off the lead. Well, this is just a great par three, 236 yards, the fourth hole. And as they like to say on tour, you can't fake this one. This will take your best shot, and you'd be happy with a three here. Dropped well, he was asking for it to sit down, but it would not comply, and that's going to wind up over the back.
Ten foot putt left. Oh, you fucking bat prick. Just gonna sneak on by. That one finished off. It is a bogey here at four. And now he's gonna fall a couple of shots off the pace. You can see here at the par four fifth, there's a lot going on. It is one of the most interesting holes at Riviera, that canyon wall and out of bounds on the right. Then you have the trees down the left. But what really makes this hole distinctive is that grass mound cutting into the fairway just short of the green. Maybe some frustrations taken out there oh, after good. that last hole. That was a big swing, and it is going to be a big result. So, Iona, this is second from the fairway. 137 is the number. Wind into the face, so you'll definitely need to account for that. And safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. Nope, good effort, but that's going to wander a few feet by. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And he's going to stay two back. Now to the sixth, affectionately known in some circles as the donut hole. And it's easy to see why. One hot bunker dead in the center of the green. And that's the genius of the hole, as it takes away the safe spot and forces you to play target golf. Fuck's sake. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Way too good, I must say. That was uh, just smashed. Yeah, sizable putt left. 17-foot putt here. Ah, yes, a perfect read there. That is in to save par. And he'll remain three shots off the pace. Here's another hole that is distinctly Riviera. 408 yards of par four, but you have that giant bunker going all the way down the left side and then the barranca on the right. Now the fairway closes in, pinches at about the 270 yard mark. So with all that's going on and as narrow as it gets, you have to hit it straight off the tee here. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. Well, he'll be disappointed with that, no doubt. Yeah, swing didn't quite look right on that one. Well, obviously, that's not his best, but it'll be quickly forgotten, Frank, if he's able to get out of here with his par. Well, you might forget it. I won't. <laughs> Far from his best. Oh, nothing routine about that one. Well done to roll it in for par. And he'll remain at four under. Well, great design. And Riviera, everyone agrees, is one of the best designs in the world. Great design makes you think. It gives you options. So 
What do you do here at this 433 yard par four eighth? You gotta go left side <laughs> or right side. Take your pick. Well, that drive was enormous. I know it's in the rough, but that is long. So he may need to choke up on this one as he gets set for his second. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, uh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Okay, right on line. That's a birdie here at the eighth. And he'll move now to five under par. On to Riviera's ninth now at 458 yards. You get a look at the beautiful clubhouse in the distance, but don't let your mind wander Seven, from the three, task nine. at hand. This is no easy hole. Bunkers line the fairway on five both sides and three more greet you up near board. this elevated green. Let's see what we can do. Thanks for the likes, guys. Much appreciated. And that ball absolutely wall. That is a big drive there. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. He's got 116 yards to the front, 152 to the hole. Pin is in the left back portion of the green. That's a good shot. A good shot. More importantly, yeah, too, a, a green shot. in regulation, so birdie chance. Oh, I haven't hit it hard enough, dickhead. Oh no, that never had a chance. to tap in there for par at the ninth. And that will mean it's an even par score of 35 on this front side. Well, this hole, the 315 so yard par 4 10th evening. has been talked about so much. If you ask the professionals, what's the best short par 4 in the world? Most will point to this. It, it's all about options and that little sliver of a green uh. which causes players headaches. This one is, is not just about the length, obviously, but it is a really strategic play. No laying up with that swing. This is all or nothing. Oh, I feel it's too hard. Fuck's sake. You know, errant tee shot here, Rich, but you're going to have to muscle this one out of the rough. This is an 11 foot putt. Nope. Nope. So that's in for par to start this backside. And he'll stay at five under. Again, here's a hole where you know instantly you're at Riviera. 583 yard, 11th. It's the second par five on the course, but you, you look at those eucalyptus trees lining both sides of the fairway. That's Riviera. And then the grass barranca, which is a couple of hundred yards from the green. You have to factor that in on your second shot. Terrific hole. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here.
Normally they stick a tee in one end and a flag in the other. You advance the way. But that second shot on this par five, that completely took the green out of play. Airmail. That is a big mistake. Making that kind of talent, he possesses the good hands. Beautiful shot right there, and that is an eagle. The 12 hole at Riviera so is a had. tricky one at 479 yards. It's narrow with OB to the left, and it forces you to carry a ravine on your approach into a green protected by a sycamore tree left and a large bunker right. <laughs> Somehow that ball went through the trees. Actually, it didn't scrub too much speed off it. It's going to be all right. Just think about it. You, you've got to cover nearly two football fields of distance and get it inside five feet. You wouldn't think that's possible. Nothing to it. It's a birdie here at 12. And that is going to push him into the lead here on this Friday. Next, it's on to the 13th at 459 yards, where the 12th bent left to right. Number 13 goes the other way, trying to make you utilize all the shots in your arsenal. That's the mark of a really good design. This one again featuring a narrow landing zone leading up to a smallish heart-shaped green. Boy, he's in a nice little groove right now. Played the last couple of holes in three under par, and he's got another in the fairway here. Now, note to his second from the fairway. On the number at 150 yards to the front, 157 to the hole, sitting in the front left hole location. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Oh no, I think he was about ready to walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And he's going to remain at 8 under. Ahead now to the 14th, the par 3 at 192 yards. This green's on a slight incline, and given the ocean air, probably plays a little longer than you think. The narrow green is flanked by two bunkers left and another to the right. Okay, that one passed the hole just a bit, but a birdie try upcoming. Oh, he's perfect on that one. It's in for birdie. And he's worked it to nine under par. Next up, the par four 15th at 487 yards. It's another one that favors someone who can move the ball left to right off the tee. If you've got enough to work it over that fairway bunker right, it should leave you with an open look to a fairly accessible green. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend, and that, another good drive here. Outstanding strike right there, right off the center of the club face, and a good chance for birdie. Oh, right by the hole. The longer putts, you don't mind as much. The short ones, they tend to sting. He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par. 
and it'll stay at minus nine. The 16th hole at Riviera, the final par three of the round. It's a tough one at 166 yards. Hit it anywhere on the putting surface, you'll likely be just fine. Miss, and you're almost certain to be in one of the four bunkers framing the entirety of the green. That's going to be on the putting surface and a birdie look straight ahead. A birdie putt now at 16. A great deal of success on the greens thus far, but this one's going to be Mike a challenge. Lead the lead. Oh, straight into the cup. Well done. That's a nice birdie here at draw, 16. Mike. And he's opened up a two-shot lead here in round two. Next up, the longest hole on the course at 590 yards, the par 517th. It plays slightly uphill the entire way as it works toward the clubhouse and features bunkers on either side of the fairway. I'll tell you what, that swing absolutely perfect and a good result as well. Did you see the yardage on that one? I mean, there had to be a mistake there because that, that three wood did not even touch the green. Look a stamp. That was airmail. Yeah. 11 feet away. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one. And he draws three shots clear on this Friday. Here's a tough one to finish out our day at Riviera, the famous 475-yard so, par night. 4 18. This one cut right up against the side rounds. of the hill on the left. You'll need to keep something in the fairway here to have a good approach into that renowned 18th green. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Tough not to get distracted with the majestic amphitheater setting here at the 18th at Riviera, but be mindful, you must land the ball left of the hole to get it close. Well, a had a good again. look at the green, but couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Oh, just missed. That's just okay, I I'd say, but he's left himself at least a chance at a par, Frank. Come on, Rich. Uh, I mean, you you're being too kind there. That's not ideal. Got it there, but not quite on target. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And that's going to tighten though. things up Finish a little as the lead ahead. is down to two. Alongside Frank Navalo, I'm Rich Lerner for EA Sports. We'll take that. We'll take that. Right, that unfortunately is it for this evening. Only a quick stream. Just wanted to do a quick hour. Get back in the swing of things. Excuse the pun. I'll um, I'll be back over the next few days. Uh, to gonna do some golfing, do some driving. Um, but for tonight, that is it.
So thanks for everyone who's dropped by. Thanks for the likes, shares, etc., etc. I will see you soon. Much love.